What's up guys, welcome back to 10 Minute Tutorials. Um, as you can tell, I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break from the cyber defense path and it's only because if you've looked at the cyber defense path, some of the boxes aren't done yet, they're not made. So I can't keep going because you can't finish it. Um, so I'm waiting till they're out of development. It says they're in development, I'm not sure. So anyway, without further ado, let's hop back into 10 Minute 10 minute tutorials. Hopefully you guys like the videos. If you do, hit the like and subscribe button. It helps out a ton to the channel as you guys know. We're almost to a thousand, so thank you so much. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna cover Spiderfoot today, and then I'm gonna compare it with Sherlock. If you guys have used Sherlock, Sherlock shows you basically accounts, okay? So it's going to search the accounts that you give it to search the entire internet and find accounts for people. Now, why would you wanna do this? Pretty self-explanatory. If I'm doing social, you know, social attacks on you, social engineering attacks, something, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find what the company, find who works for that company, and I'm gonna start looking into them and see if I can find some information that helps. For instance, if I look on their social media and they're wearing the badge that they wear for work, I now have a way in because I can copy that badge. Um, similar things, if I know um, if I know who they hang out with, I know I can send an email from someone that is the name of the who they hang out with and then I can get them to click the email. I mean, there's all kinds of reasons why you would want this information. But without further ado, we're just searching Stuffy24 on Sherlock. So if you haven't used Sherlock, it's gonna just search through a database of sites and give you the answer, whether they have it or not. Now, I will tell you Stuffy24 I've had for um, some time, but some of these sites, I don't even know what they are, like Coil, I'm not sure what that is, so I don't think I've ever created an account on there, but maybe I did, I don't know. Um, so some of these maybe may be the person you're looking for, may not. You may have to go to the site and look. Um, Facebook, I know that's not my name on Facebook, so I know that's not mine. Fortnite, um, I, I don't know if I use Stuffy24, but I know I had a Fortnite. Um, I have a GitHub, but I don't think that's mine. I think that was created before me. The Hacker One Stuffy24, that's the one that we created on this channel. Um, the Instagram, okay, that's not my Instagram either, but that means someone created one. Um, Nightbot, I do have a Nightbot for when I streamed on Twitch, so that's mine. Um, the Patreon, that's mine. Um, that could be my Pinterest, I'm not sure, I, I don't remember. Could be my Roblox, I'm not sure, because again, some of these accounts I created like one time and like never used them again, so I don't know. Um, Xbox Gamer Tag, that is my Xbox Gamer Tag, or was an Xbox Gamer Tag. I don't have Xbox Live anymore. Um, Twitter, that is my Twitter, and that is my Twitch. So you can see that from there, just this quick, simple thing, I can then go and find these accounts or these profiles. I can click on these profiles and start gathering information about an individual. This is huge. Now, look at this Spiderfoot. If you guys haven't used Spiderfoot, it's a, it's really cool. It comes pre-installed on Parrot OS, um, but you can see it runs here as in the background as a web browser or a web server, excuse me. You go to it and I started a scan. Now all I put in the scan, the only thing I put in this scan was an email. And this email is not, I shouldn't say it's not mine. It may have been mine at one point, but I don't remember ever using it. So this email is stuffy24 at yahoo.com, I think. And Look at how interesting this is. All I put was email. So what I'll show you is if I click new scan, all you have to do is put descriptive name for the scan. That's the whatever name you want it to be. And then the starting point. Now you can put in, you can see you can put a subnet, you can put email addresses, phone numbers, you can put a lot of stuff. So it's difficult to do this without doxing somebody, which is why I'm using myself um, to show you guys. Now if I go to scans here, you can see here's my email scan stuffy24 at yahoo.com and it's still running now this has been running for quite some time so i'm not going to um get crazy but i am going to start showing you guys the results you can see here account on external sites now look at how they compare you can see fortnite tracker same thing that was on the previous one friend finder I'm not sure what that is it seems it says x so probably porn site or something um github okay we saw that on the other one now, I'm not sure why it's um, showing two of everything. It's probably different sources or something, but that's fine. Hacker One showed that on Sherlock, and Hacker One is also um, the account that we create on here, so we know that that's legit. Instagram, we saw that before on the other one. So you can see how this is starting to gather information for people. 
Now the nice thing is from here, since this is just a web browser, you don't really have to type in the command line. You don't have to know anything. You just put in your target and you start gathering information. Now, like I said, what would you do with this? Well, I would start going to these profiles and from these profiles, I can gather so much more information about you than you even realize. Most people don't realize like when they post something, oh yeah, whatever, you know. But if it's a picture of, let's say you standing in front, oh, got a new house today. Well, now I have your address, right? Because it's not hard to, you, we've done it on this channel, we've done reverse image searches, we've done um, actual image forensics. So you can take a photo and find where the location of it is. So you can see how we can start to really build um, a profile on a person. And then from there, gathering this information, we can start um, gearing our attack towards that person. You can see we have Snapchat stories, MySpace, um, Spotify, Twitter, um, more porn sites apparently, G Xbox Gamer Tag. Now I'm not sure how the Xbox Gamer Tag stuff works because I don't know if like I haven't had Xbox in so long. I don't know if that still is mine. I don't know if someone can buy it now or like how it works. So that type of stuff, I'm not sure. Scratch, that's a coding site. I use that or used it before. Um, so you can see how this this scan can get really in depth, and you can see that if we go to two, whoops, graph, look at how it's connecting things. It's starting to put together a puzzle of what's going on on the internet of your email. Now, again, you can use phone numbers. You can use, okay, so this one's done. So you can use phone numbers excuse me, emails, IP addresses. So let's say you're working and you have, uh, you know, a malicious email or you or a malicious IP address that you think is, eh, it might be a little sketchy. You can put it in here and see what's it doing on the internet. Is it reaching back to a C C2 server? Is it reaching back? What's going on with it? So this puts into perspective what is going on on the internet. It searches through basically directories of, or lists of sites that it knows to look for and it's gonna look for whatever it is you give it, a username, um, email, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what we're doing here on Spiderfoot. And you can see, using Spiderfoot or Sherlock, you can gather a lot of information about somebody because you can see there's 22 different profiles here. Now, like I said, a lot of people might think, oh, well, that's no big deal. But if I start going through your Spotify, Okay, well, number one, now I know you have a Spotify, so if I send you an email from Spotify, you're gonna probably click on it, right? So I'm starting to target, I'm starting to figure out what, you do, what you're what you doing. If I go to your Spotify, and I notice you listen to a lot of kids music or something, I know you have children now, right? That's the type of stuff that's scary. That's the type of stuff that you can start gathering from people when your mind's working, and it can get very complex very quickly, and then on top of that, I can start targeting you for attacks for your company. Meaning, if you work for, you know, let's say Facebook or, or Google or something, a really large company, I just need you to go to work one day and then click on that email, you know? And then if I do this to all of Google's employees, I've got thousands and thousands of targets, right? So that's the kind of mindset. So if I was doing a pen test for Google, this is where I would start on the social engineering aspect and start gathering information about them. And you can do you can really refine your searches. So email address here, I can change it from instead of stuffy24, I can just put at you know google.com or whatever their work emails are and see how many I get, right? You can really make this scan do a lot more than that even though it says um, seed target. But look, you can just say what if I just put at whoops, what if I just put at google.com or whatever their um, you know thing is? And then username, what if I just put Stuffy24? I would get a ton more results in Stuffy24 than Stuffy24 at Yahoo because this is the Sherlock one. Look how many different ones I got. The Patreon is different, Roblox is different. All those didn't come up on the Sherlock one. But you can see how these scans and this stuff ran for maybe 10 minutes and I have 50 different leads to go into now to try and start gathering information on somebody. So. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Um, I'm probably going to stick to the 10 minute tutorials for a little while until the cyber defense path gets finished and then we'll go back to it. So hopefully you guys like it and thank you guys and you guys have a great day.